I'm George, I'm an electrical engineer. Uh, I work for NESCO as a, a high voltage pointed person and a technician on, uh, on solar farms and uh, battery energy storage. What we're going to do today is uh, replacing a, a faulty inverter that involves uh, isolating the AC circuit, isolating the DC side. And uh, Luke would be here with me today to manual handle the, uh, the inverter and uh, I'll just be on the side just in case anything, anything happens. Uh, hopefully not. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> what got me into electrical engineer is the interest for science. Uh, I, love, I love science, I love physics, in particular with renewable energy. It's, it's really fascinating. So the way the solar panels work is we, we have a silicon wafer. They composed of two layers. One of the silicon plates has got a missing electron and the top one has got um, an excess of electrons. So when the sun uh, hits one of the electrons, when the photons hit the electrons, they shift to the underneath layer and this causes a voltage potential. Each cell generates about half a volt and then you put them in series. Particularly on, on this side, we have 1,200 volts across the strings, DC current. And then with the help of inverters, we convert uh, from DC to AC. So what I'll be doing now, I'll be uh, uh, proving the AC circuit is dead. Need to find out where this is fed from. Uh, the combiner box would be, sub collector would be uh, on the next row. Need to go around it. Prove the circuit did, and then uh, uh, yeah, uh, take take the old inverter off and install uh, a new inverter. All good. That is safe to work on. So we've we've proven the circuit is uh, is dead, and we can uh, we can work on. We've got our safe isolation point at the feeder pillar. And we can uh, start taking off the old inverter. Uh, right. So I'm gonna open uh, open the inverter to access the AC connections. Uh, they're gonna be in here uh, underneath, and then uh, uh, take take all the uh, string boxes. That's gonna release the inverter to be uh, removed, and and the new one can uh, can go back back in place. Here's our AC connections. As a safety precaution, may as well uh, we could test it again just to prove it. Yep, that's perfectly fine to be worked on. So, so some of the problems of the wildlife causing on solar farms would be likely mice building nests and cavities. We start chewing on insulation, uh, causing a fault pass to the ground to the frame, which is uh, which is earth and um, rabbits as well. We have analysts which are constantly monitoring the, the portal uh, so they analyze each inverter how's, how's performing. If there's something out of order is underperforming compared to other inverters then um, that's being picked up. We also have pyranometers which are precise instruments for measuring how much sunlight you have. If you know how much sunlight you have, you know how many solar panels you have and then you can calculate how much energy you expected. From a safety perspective, what do we actually wear on site? We have a different, so we have a five layers of, of protection uh, depending on what we actually do on site. For walking around, an uh, arc flash rated gear is, is necessary as a, as a minimum. It's a really comfortable uh, gear. As soon as you start work, you, you're feeling great doing your work, so you enjoy it more better. And then as we move up to different tasks, as, as the risk increases, uh, then we layer up for, uh, for better protection. The difference uh, between working with DC compared to a AC current is we've got high voltages as you normally have on AC circuits and uh, also uh, the arc flash potential is, is a lot higher and the arcs are sustained for much uh, longer period of time because the DC current it, it just have the high potential and the low potential whereas the AC crosses every 50 uh, uh, times a second crosses as the sine wave goes, crosses through the zero volt. So this is a torque wrench. It's uh, it's used to torque connections to a certain amount of torque, so you don't over tighten them or under tighten them. Uh, 
question we uh, I'm being often asked: Does the sun need to shine on, on the panels to, to have generation? The answer is uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, as long as you have daylight, as long as you can see outside, then that that is enough. It's obviously not going to generate as much as uh, in a full sunshine, but on a really cloudy day, you'd get about 40% of, of generation of aerated uh, capacity of, of, of a plant. Uh, what I enjoy most about my job is uh, working in a, in a field, working outside, enjoying the wildlife and uh, the decarbonization of, of energy generation.